All right, so today uh, I got something I think you might be interested in. So we got a, a customer sent in a new uh, 54 millimeter Buick roller core that he wants ground. And uh, we got it in the grinder yesterday and realized that the front journal had six thousandths run out <clears throat> and that's from the front center. So the front center is not concentric with the journals so and sometimes we see that uh, so we try to check for it pretty often just to verify the centers are happy with the journals and there's no issue but uh but hang loose and i'm gonna bring you in here and show you what all is going on all right so you can see <clears throat> Let me see here, let me zoom out a little bit. So what we do is we put we put the cam in the lathe and then we get it back here in the, in the steady rest and then we'll put a center in it to get everybody in line and then we tighten up the steady rest on the front journal so we know the front journal's running true and then we can come in here uh, we can come in here uh, and actually bore that 30 degree taper for the center to make sure that it, you know, that this money is it's like it's supposed to be. So what we got going on now, and I'm going to turn this where you can actually see the indicator. All right, let me zoom in on that. Hopefully you can see it. All right, so we are on that... 30 degree taper and you can see it's, it's got a lot of run out. Actually, and do I see a little place right there? Yep, so something, something has got in there at some point and bumped that, that center and got, but it's out of round either way, but there's something, there's an actual little burr in that, just making the indicator jump. Yeah, I can, I can see it right there. I can see a little bump right there. So, you know, it don't, it don't take much to just screw the pooch on this kind of stuff. Cause that center has got to be accurate. Yeah, so now we just see the run out. We don't see that little bump. I moved it further in some. Um, so that, all of that is creating the issue. And then if we come, let's see, let's come over here. So we got, this is actually the number two journal because, let me zoom back a little bit. So this is the number two journal because obviously we, we can't get up in here but if you look it's got about less than a thousandths run out and between centers this journal's got about four thousandths run out so i mean that's that's pretty good if we can get it i'd like to get it to one or under but if we can get it to to one I'd be happy, right? If we can recut the center and put it in the grinder and check the mains and all of them are within one, I'm tickled to death. So, and again, this is a solid roller. It's got lash, so it's not quite as bad as a hydraulic, but you know, we still don't want to run out if we can keep from it. All right, so I got to figure out where to get you positioned so you can see me cut this center. But hang loose here and let me get all this set up and then we'll be back. All right, so I hope that this ain't going to be shaky. I got the camera on a magnet stand up on the back of the lathe. So hopefully you'll be able to see what we're doing and all of that jazz. So anyway, I got the compound set up on 30 degrees. It's a 60 degree taper. So the compound's on 30. We got a little small uh, carbide boring bar in. 
So we're just going to reach in here and just remachine that uh, that taper where the center sits. And then we'll do a light deburr just to lap it in. And then that, that should be it. But once we cut it, <clears throat> we'll come back and check it with the indicator and make sure it's, it's all happy. So that was just a, uh, let's back out of here so we can see good. So that was just a real light cut, a couple of thousandths. And again, it ain't gonna take much, but it's gonna take more than that. But uh, So just, just a little bit right over here, I still see some light shadow, but overall, that cleaned it up so we're going to put one more little light cut and then we'll check it with an indicator and see what we got Just touched, we'll take another thousandths or two. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So that's pretty doggone good right there. I mean, I see it wiggling a few tenths, but that's just from the roughness. We're gonna we're gonna sand it in some. But yeah, it's uh, it's good now. So and just to verify that everybody's still happy, we're gonna check this second journal. And the second journal is still under a thousandths, so I'm not, you'll have to trust me, I'm not going to move the camera again. So we'll move this indicator, and then I'm going to get a little sandpaper, and we're going to touch all this up, make sure we don't have any burrs.
Oh yeah, that looks good, feels good. So I think we're gonna have that lick. So the next test is we're gonna pop it out of the lathe and take it over to the grinder, put it between centers, and then uh, we'll measure all this and I'll bring you with me, so just hang loose. All right, so uh, let me see if you can see that. So it looks real nice now compared to how it was. So let's put her in here. All right, like I said, before we were right here, we had about six and a half thousandths, give or take. And, uh, you know, and then it got less and less and less, obviously, because we're getting further and further away from the problem. So let's hope we did a good job. I think you can see all that. Yeah. Let's see what she does. Boys and girls, look at that. I mean, it ain't moving a tenth other than when I hit that oil hole. And this up here was running out. I mean, and again, it don't matter. This don't matter. But this was running out a lot on this nose. Oh, we got an oil hole there too. Yeah, this area here, which again, it doesn't do anything, but this area here still got some run out, uh, but it's not doing anything, but it was a lot worse than that. And let's check where the timing gear rides to see what it looks like. Oh yeah, and see this diameter here had run out too. So this diameter had run out and the front journal had run out and now the timing gear is less than a thousandths run out. So. I'd say we uh, we fixed that mule. I was a little bit nervous because sometimes they aggravate and especially the, the way these are made because most cams have a, you know, a little small center like that. And because of the way the nose is made on these Buicks, it's got that really big center. So it's not fun sometimes, but that's fixed. I'm going to just make this a video. Uh, we may make a video about grinding this thing. Maybe, I don't know, but um, let me get this. All right, so <clears throat> again, it's just, this is just crap we have to do sometimes. <clears throat> the ones with real small centers, sometimes we just totally just recut that whole center with a, with a new center drill. But the, the ones big, if you can bore them, it's, it's usually a much more accurate job um, just cause, you know, when you drill something with any kind of tool is trying to push one way or the other. And when you bore it, you just don't get that deflection like that. So uh, it's always better when we can bore them. And I got some really small um, carbide bore bars. So some stuff, you know, we can get in there and actually bore it and some stuff we can't, we just have to cut it with a center. And usually if we cut it, if we have to, to drill it, usually you, you can't get that accurate. It just, it just won't do it. So anyway, again, this is just one more thing that we have to do. Sometimes, you know, it ain't just throw it in the grinder and grind it always. There's, there's always some kind of monkey wrench that you have to deal with. But anyway, uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was uh, educational. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one.